What's up? All right, so I've been reading in the pharmaco the pharmacopathy, pharmacological aspects of weight loss. And here's what I found is we just got in our AOD um, 26 or 9604. This is your anti obesity drug that's not a drug, it's a peptide complex. Okay. Basically, what you've got here is it is a human growth hormone analog, meaning it's a part of the human growth hormone 191 amino acid peptide chain. What it does is there's four mechanisms of weight loss that we can find that um, are worth looking at when it comes to direct weight loss. Now, you've got number one is going to be decreased energy intake. Shut your mouth. Okay, number two is increased energy expenditure, crack cocaine. Number three is modulating fat stores or adipocyte differentiation. That's AOD. Literally, you have a certain number of fat cells in the body. These fat cells store energy, right? That energy that is stored has to be used up. What this anti-obesity drug peptide thingy, what it does is goes in and destroys the fat cell itself so there's less fat cells to store energy in. Because we are all born with a certain number of fat cells and as you start to destroy these, the less place there is to put this extra energy, the more of it will have to be used anabolically or in the muscle, hopefully, or excreted. The goal is to have less targets to store energy. Now, here's what they found is growth hormone has a profound lipoic lipolic and anti polygenic polygenic whatever activity and is known to reduce body fat and cause weight loss. AOD 9604 is an orally active analog of the peptide fragment of human growth hormone that selectively activates liposis in adipose tissue. In one study, AOD 9604 activates lipos uh, a reduced body weight in genetically obese zucker rats and OBOB uh, mice without inducing untoward effect on glycemic control. Normally observed with growth hormone, the 191 amino acid peptide chain, in 12-week randomized clinical trials, subjects received AOD 9604 that lost an average of 2.6 kilograms compared to 0 0.8 kilograms in placebo group. Now, they stopped the development of this drug due to a study they did where they did not get the uh, significant weight loss um, in the 24-week trial because what they noticed was, a in essence, they lost body fat in the beginning but then created a, basically they got a tolerance to it and the weight came back. So this is made to be cycled in short cycles, like four to six weeks on, four to six weeks off. That way the body doesn't build the antibodies to it. I have that study, which I will find and get to you. Exactly why we picked it up was because it's more of a quick lose weight, stop the stuff, start again. So it is a cycled thing for research purposes only because this is not for human consumption. This is only to be used in research facilities by researchers doing research on research animals like those rats. It's definitely not for humans even though they did human trial on it. <laughs> um, remember, anything I say, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dentist, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a chiropractor, okay? I am a redneck from Alabama. These are my opinions, and I'm just making fun of things that I think are interesting because I think it's funny. 
So take everything that I say with a grain of salt. You should never use a research chemical for any reason under any circumstance unless your grandmother tells you to. No, unless your medical professional gives you permission to. In that case, um, you can do what he says. But in the other case, you can go to newsarms.com, get your AOD drug affinity or your uh, AOD, your anti-obesity drug complex, which actually stands for adiposity tissue thing. Uh, 9604, which comes in a nasal spray, and I'll get into the reasoning behind that later, but right now I'm being summoned, so I must go. Check that out, newsarms.com, promo code SETH, gets you 15% off.